Well, alrighty, guys. Good evening. It is Madman Mondello coming at you live from the Gardendale Garage here in beautiful Alabama. That's right. Mr. Scott Schmalz. I hope I got your name right. Okay, because it was... His name with double L's, you know, double vowel. I'm just like... <laughs> anyway, alright. Scott went ahead and he purchased an Xbox off the uh, website from us. And, well, Scott, here it is. Trinity. You watch me build this thing step by step. You've seen every solder point, every nut, bolt, and everything else that went into it, okay? And you also saw the boot times on it, as I did them with videos on the comments on that thread. So you know exactly what you got here, okay? So anyway, she's all done, ready to rock and roll. Up on the line servers, along with a 10-day trial of the Burge for GTA 5, all right? Now, we're going to go ahead, we're going to boot this puppy. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to say oh, over here. And then I'm going to grab hold of this controller right here. I'm going to sync this thing up. All right, there we go. And I gather it sync the video. Yes, it did. Okay, good. This monitor is a little flaky. All right. Now, we're going to boot up into FSD Dash. We're going to get some notifications from the server, letting us know it's online live and all that other happy nonsense, okay? Once that happens, then I'm going to roll through this thing like a steamroller, let you know exactly what you got with it, okay? At the end of the video, I'm going to tell you how to get it online for the first time on your network, so please pay attention to that. Now, all right, Scott, here we go. Okay, under emulators, Genesis Plus 360, SNES 360, and MAME, okay? A complement of ROMs on there. There is all kinds of crazy stuff on there, uh, 4,000 ROMs. Uh, have a blast. If you're into retro, there you go. Xbox Classic Games, you got your Brothers in Arms, and you got your Halo. Homebrew section. These are the tools that you can really screw this thing up with, okay? So we have Dash Launch, XM360, XCX Menu, Xbox 360, uh, Xbox 360 Dashboard, Voice Changer 360, Simple NAND Flasher, FX Menu, Flash 360, and back to Dash Launch. Now, <clears throat> Xbox Live Arcade, a myriad, mind-boggling amount of arcade games, including Trail of Arcade and Goat Simulator. <laughs> and then, of course, we have our regular Xbox 360 games. Okay, now, we're going to roll through this. Here we go. We have Advanced Warfare, Warface, Tomb Raider, Super Street Fighter 4, Splinter Cell, Superstar, uh, Sega Superstars Tennis, Saints Row the Sur, Red Dead Redemption, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, Hitman, Halo CE, Halo 3, Grand Theft Auto 5, Gears of War Judgment, Gears of War 3, Gears of War 2, Gears of War, Fear 2, Defiance, Call of Duty World of War, Black Ops 3, Ghost, Black Ops 2, Black Ops, Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty 3, Call of Duty 2, Bulletstorm Epic Edition, Borderlands the Pre-Sequel, Borderlands 2, Battlefield Back Company 2, Battlefield 4, and back to Advanced Warfare. Now, to get to the original dashboard, go to your homebrew section right here. And go to Xbox 360 dashboard, mash the A button, mash it one more time. That will take you to the original dash. There you are. Hello again. This is Scott Schmalz. I hope I got it right. You're on Alliance Live. Welcome to Alliance Live. You're on dashboard 17.544. You currently have 30 reserved days left. Got it good. Okay. We'll bypass the sign in. And then, as you can see, you're up, you're online, you're live. Here's our beautiful eyeball pleasing HUD. And over in our fifth tab, our ghost cheats and modern warfare three cheats. To get back to FSD Dash, just smash the A button and Xbox Home. That will take you back. Now. Scooter. Listen, bro. Alright, look. There is a certain way that you have to get this online for the first time. And I'm going to explain this to you, okay? So please pay attention to this. Because it is rather important, alright? Look. When you get this crazy thing, alright? Before you plug it in or anything... Open a drive door, pull the hard drive out, put it on top, then plug it in, then power it on. Once you do that, you're going to come to the Xbox Blackboard screen. When you come to the Blackboard screen, I want you to slide to the right. Go to System, go to Settings, go to Network Settings, okay? Underneath Network Settings, you're going to see your Wi-Fi access point pull up. When you see that, all right, I want you to click on it. Then I want you to put your password in. When you do that, it's going to initialize a test. It's going to check mark off land. It's going to fail on internet. It's going to fail on Xbox Live. Once it completely fails, I want you to shut the system down. Then I want you to take the hard drive. I want you to slip it back in there. Seats with a click. Take the drive door. Put that mad puppy on there. Pull the power cord. Clear the, clear the SMC. Give it about three minutes, three to five minutes, all right? Once, it's, once you give it about three to five minutes... Take the power cord, plug it back in, power it on, and guess what, buddy? You're good to go. So listen, brother, thank you for your business. I greatly appreciate it. We're going to be shipping off tomorrow. Rain will have a tracking number for you by tomorrow evening. Thank you so much. And guys, I'm on to my next one. In the middle of doing 
Franken pie. I'm going to have a dashboard on this thing by tonight. I am going to have a freaking desktop on this thing by tonight. Anyway, you have a good one, guys. Holler at you later.